the random animation. It was kind of random, kind of nuts. Like, uh, I don't know if Seth is here still. I don't think he's seen this. But uh, I, I made the role-playing game for uh, uh, for that world. So uh, it's kind of, it's related to me. I've helped with, uh, not with the animation directly, but with a lot of other stuff and production stuff. Uh, with the studio and that animation. <laughs> All right. Oh, sorry guys. I'll just. Uh, the sound is probably too loud now. Let me just turn it down a bit. Okay. How's the sound? I had to uh, turn it down a bit again because I know the the, the output of sound from Final Fantasy is very really loud. Uh, can you still hear me? Give me a one if you can still hear me, guys. Good, 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 good. Thanks. <laughs> Evil Ashi, hey! I've seen you before. Welcome back. Creepy spider alert. Not a big fan of spiders. No offense to spider lovers out there. <laughs> I'm happy to see you, man. Ooh, 69 damage. Ooh, that hurt. That hurt a lot. This is like a mini boss when you walk through that uh, spider web. No more playing around. Pretty off topic, but do you know anything about... Hello, Slew! Yeah! As a city, by the way. Yeah, I do! Hello, Slew! I, I, uh, I don't know like crazy much about it, but I know the, the city. I'm moving there next year, gonna study some sound design in Sonic College. Where I'm gonna... Where I'm... Probably gonna specialize in game audio. Oh, that's cool. That's cool, metaphor. Yeah, I do. I do know Hellslew. Uh, oh, you guys. Now, now I feel like I. Uh, I should. I should. I should do this. I should do this. Just a second. Just, just for you, metaphor. Uh. Boom, 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 boom. So, let me just click this. Bam. I live here. And, uh, oh, you, you can't see my mouse very well, apparently. But I live over here on the right. In uh, Odense, as it's called Danish. It looks like it says Odense. <laughs> Oh, I'm so dense. <laughs> uh, and uh, this is Hellslew. So it's not that far away. You can see it's it's one hour away in the car. So, uh, yeah. Bam. Let's keep going. Cool, man. I didn't even know they had a sound school uh, there. X potion. Probably not even worth running all the way down there for the and fighting that boss for an X potion, but I mean, Oh I should have healed. Mistakes were made oh no. that was not my intention. Oh, you keep buffering? Oh. The penal lobe is buffering. 
new. Sonic College that all. Okay. And where where are you from yourself? Metaphor? Pretty excited. Mm. Cool. Uh oh. Yuffie. Cure. Uh So to get to that, oh wait. Sud, Sudulgar, Sud. Oh, it's so difficult to pronounce some of those. Fair. Uh, but yeah, I'm. I'm uh, may, maybe you're. Maybe that's pretty close to uh, where you hands from. I don't have to ask him. So many subs in chat, all because of uh, Wired Notice. That's so crazy. Mm. Oh, wait. I'm just running in a circle now. Oh, and this doesn't lead anywhere. There you go. So the last part there, Goethe, does that mean like, does that mean like a uh, harbor or something? I'm wondering. Or does it mean like gates? Or something else entirely. Oh, he's uh, oh, there we go. Ah, okay. <laughs> nice. Thank thanks for writing the Danish the Danish word as well. <laughs> I appreciate that. Actually, that's close to Danish as well because we have Vai, that means road, but we also have Gel, which means like streets. You actually, you actually know where he's from. <laughs> I like, I like that. Uh, I know that the the Faroe Islands are very, it's a very, very small communities. You have a lot of amazing uh, artists, like music artists, over there as well. I mean, really, really. If anyone in chat hasn't listened to uh, Faroe uh, Island artists, you sh definitely should. You'd be, you should be surprised just how. Uh... Oh, I have to run this way. There we go. Be surprised just how. It, it's almost like some of some of their music with their you know their uh, native language. It sounds almost that kind of like whisks you away. It's like a fairy tale.
death sentence. Ah, so it's like Sawthorn Street, kind of. Uh, how do I... Hmm. Wait, this... This doesn't lead anywhere, does it? No. This is this is a. Uh, this is just for me to get into more fights, I guess. Yep. <laughs> I don't remember this place very well. Even though I've played this game a lot in the past. Haha. <laughs> Miss. Miss. Haha. <laughs> Oh, damn it. <laughs> broke, broke my record. Yeah. Don't mind moving to a small place like Hellslave and seeing I come from a country that... Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, Hellslave is not even one of the smallest uh, cities here. I mean, it's 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 not at all. I, I live in Odense, right? And it's and Odense is the third largest city in Denmark. The only two larger are Copenhagen, which is a lot larger. Uh, and uh, Aarhus and you'd you'd be even though you're uh, over on the, the the western side on the in Jutland the mainland area which is the same side that uh, Aarhus is at you'd uh, you'd still be closer to my city uh, like driving distance twice Fridge. Burn that spot for crisp. Okay, guess we have to uh, charge it up a little bit as well. For anyone who has played Final Fantasy VII, what is your favorite summon in the game? Like from a not from a damage perspective, like the most powerful. But which one do you think is coolest to look at? That attack deals so much damage! So we got we got a new limit break. Klim Hazard attacks one opponent. <laughs> Sounds very simple, right? Okay, we should be able to climb down here. Oh, just walk around. Okay. Two poeta. We got everything. Ah, the first Bahamut. Okay, I like Neo Bahamut as well, but my favorite is probably uh, Odin. I was friends play, but I always enjoyed the sound. Oh, oh yeah, Ooh, just listen. But you hear the the small did 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 as as on cue as, as on cue. Okay, Buchenheims. Okay, I have to I have to say his his laugh to get into his voice. Ho ho ho! This warrior went through the cave all alone, <laughs> fighting attackers one after another. Uh, Grandpa, that warrior. Ho ho ho! We are almost there. <laughs> With my clingy friends. <laughs> no, no problem, Mister Four. No problem. Have fun. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, this is a boss. I remember this is a boss, but I don't remember how what it's actually like. But let's just... Hmm, do we have some normal potions? 
Range type. Oops. Use potion. That should be fine. What is this? <laughs> Grandpa, is is he? After death, the ghost has the key, like stagnant air. This can't be. Oh no, guys. Creepiness. Oh yeah, now I remember. Okay. Fire won't work very well against those guys. Take over. See, the thing is, we have an item on uh, Nanaki that uh, nullifies all fire damage. So this this should be this should be very effective. Okay, they just heal heal each other. Yeah. Judgment boat. Oh, that's the only one we have. Yeah. Diamond dust. Boss fight. Nice. Gonna just epic high five this guy out of the way. See? <laughs> Zero fire damage. <laughs> Outplayed. How dare you. Anchor of the land. You might have lightning and Draining attacks and fire, but we have a bodybuilder. I guess I guess it's a god, but it's funnier to call him a bodybuilder, right? Haha! <laughs> Zero damage. Omega Lol. <laughs> there we go. Okay, okay, that hurt. I'll, I'll give you that. That hurt pretty much. We were pretty lucky that uh, he used that against... ...against Red of all the enemies. Or of all our characters, I mean. Let's use our chocobo against him. Our secret weapon, guys. A moogle riding a chocobo. Ooh, she's down. <laughs> oh, we are going to. Mm. Oh, just on itself.
Stop sucking out the blood of... That's not funny. Of Yuffie. My, my best girl. There we go. No, don't use thunder on yourself. Cloud, because of you, we survived. Nanaki, you have grown strong too. Oh, yeah. Now I know that it wasn't a mistake bringing you here. Come, I have something I want to show you right over here. Don't run past the materia. Even Yuffie goes past the materia. That's weird. She, she loves stealing materia, so. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Get the feels ready, guys. Get the feels ready. This is a this is a feels moment. This is the warrior who fought against the Gi. He kept them from taking even one step into Cosmo Canyon. But he was never able to return to town. Look, Nanaki. Look at your father. At the warrior, Seto. And I'm not talking about Seto Kaiba, that brat from the Yu-Gi-Oh! series. Look at that beautiful animation. That's... that's Seto? Seto continued to fight the Gi tribe here to protect this canyon. Even after the Gi's poisonous arrows turned his body to stone, even after they all ran away, Seto continued to protect us. And he continues to protect us even now. Even now? You thought that he was a coward and ran away, but he alone risked his life to protect Cosmo Canyon. That is your father, Seto. That is Seto? Did mother know? Ho ho ho, she knew. The two of them made me promise to keep this cave shut. They asked me to seal it myself and not to tell us all. They said we should forget about this cave. Hmm. Cloud, would you mind leaving the two of us alone? Didn't get time to thank you. Ah, you should thank Wired for that, Francis. Grandpa. Listen, Nanaki. Cloud says they are trying to save the planet. Honestly, I don't think it can be done. For even if they stop every reactor on the planet, it's only going to postpone the inevitable. <clears throat> even if they stop Sephiroth, everything will perish. But Nanaki, I've been thinking lately. I've been thinking if there was anything we could do. As a part of the planet, something to help a planet already in misery. No matter what happens, isn't it important to try? 
Am I just wishing against fate? I am too old to do anything about it. This year, I'll be 130 years old. Ho ho ho! Be so awesome. Elved, I ever knows that when you get past 100 years old, you can float, right? That is why, Nanaki, you must go with them for my sake. Grandpa. I wanted to show you your real father before you left. I'm so glad you came back while I was still alive to show you. Grandpa, don't talk like this. I don't want to think of life without you. <laughs> well, I've had a long life. Grandpa, you must live. I'll see to it. I'll see to what's happening on the planet, and I'll come back to tell you. Nanaki? I am Nanaki of Cosmo Canyon, the son of the warrior Seto. I'll come back a warrior true to that noble name. So please, Grandpa. This is beautiful, guys. The fields. That's Seto's. Seto. Seto. F father. It's the tears of his father, guys. He could, he could hear them. But why don't they just use soft? You know, that item that de-petrifies people. I guess that doesn't work and, and when you've been petrified for too long. <clears throat> okay. They said they finished fixing the buggy. So we get going. So this is it, Anarchy. That's just the way it goes. You came in handy at times. Okay, so... Bam. <laughs> we should be able to buy the items. Couldn't buy last time, actually. So let's go and do that. Oh, welcome. Oh, yeah, I already, already set her a dialogue. There we go. Bye. Do you want Red's weapon? And we want Yuffie's weapon also. I want three of these. Oh wait, you already have a several silver armlet. No! <laughs> Waste of money! I cannot take it. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I actually think we put some material in her, right? Yeah. Let's take those off real quick.
Hmm, uh, I'm sorry, Tito got used to being lazy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Alright, uh... so we can sell this. So many of these. Uh, so we can buy this. And there we go. Now we didn't miss anything. Let's just save real quick. So we're supposed to just leave because we think that uh, Red isn't coming with us. There we go. Wait for me! I'm coming too. Mm -hmm. Ho ho ho! Cloud, please look after Nanaki! What happened? I think I grew up a little. That's what happened. Ho ho ho! Come back whenever you need my knowledge! That's actually a hint for later in the game. You actually need to go back to him. And our Bucky is fixed! Off road. Get right now. All right, we can't be it. We can't be attacked while we're in this. That's right. Flank attack, guys. Oh, I didn't shift out to uh, red. That's right. It should be fine. This is what uh, really helped us in the fight. It says nullifies fire attacks, right? Fire ring. Okay, so we only have one place where we can use the all material because we need these connections between the, the these uh, material slots to be able to uh, actually. To actually apply the effect blue material or support material so you connect them with another material so for example all material connected with fire allows you to cast fire on all enemies at the same time So 
wall, earth on all ice elemental, wall, fire, Shiva, and Joker Mark. And she can have enemy skill. I'm gonna jump ahead and say hello to the doggos. See you there. See you there in a bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, she's starting one hour earlier, right? Yeah. So in one hour, Thrandis, I'm gonna jump over. So uh, for anyone else in stream, uh, I'm gonna stream for four hours today, uh, not not the eight hours I streamed yesterday, which was pretty crazy. I started one hour earlier and I went four hour longer than I usually do. But uh, but I really had a lot of awesome people come here because of that. So um, I, I'm I feel like it was totally worth it. So. Uh, let's. Guess let's just go with this, right? We do have Tira and all of them. Fully equipped, yes. Oh, wait, wait a moment. I need to go. We went up there. Getting turned around. I like that our weapon uh, is a pinwheel, so it's actually just like a, a little uh, origami windmill. I don't, I don't know exactly how uh, that can damage anyone, but uh, apparently it can. That's cool. Okay guys, this, this here is uh, Nibelheim. Which we saw in the the story, right? But for some reason, it was rebuilt without uh, Cloud and Tifa knowing. This is their hometown. I thought someone said this town was burned down. I thought someone said this town was. But I'm not really sure about Yuffie's voice yet. Let's see. Yeah. Yuffie wasn't there when they to told about the backstory though, so... Cloud, did you lie to us? I'm not lying. I remember the intense heat of the flames. Guys, there's a doggo. That's always first priority. This doggo isn't isn't barking back in a in a jolly way. So this is Cloud's home. Like this is his and it is even complete. It's yeah, weird. Uh this isn't Cloud's mother, right? So the thing is Shinra basically put Put new citizens in here and try to just cover up that that, that this whole incident happened. That's, that's what this is all about. What is it? I want to hear a story. I lived in this house until I was 14. No, but this town was burnt down. See? You're sick saying such things. Get out of here, see, so it's it's all a cover-up. Oh really? Then it'll, it'll help me too. Okay. Pretty messed up, really. We should almost have Tifa in our team here. 
at least for a while. Just to see her reaction. Let me just do that. Because this is Tifa's house, so... Oh no, the, the house... Let's see. It's the house next to it, that's Tifa's house. Oof. Reunion. These are the... These are the... Uh, the clones of Sephiroth, basically. All of these black... Remember how, how they always explain Sephiroth, who's ahead of us, as being a, a figure cloaked in black, right? Yeah. The black cape. Mm. Just want to see if they said something else. They don't. And again, all the black clay capes, right? Must get it and bring it to Sephiroth. Then become one with Sephiroth. And th this is what the Advent Children story tried to expand on. Where these, basically these, these mutated clones that attempted to become, or to be, be the next Sephiroth, right? Sephiroth were like the prime example of of teen genes of Genova fusing with a human while well, these people are basically uh, failed attempts right so they try to reunite with Sephiroth hey chicken what's up my friend just just playing just playing some Final Fantasy man I've showed some animations before as well uh, that was pretty fun. Uh, this guy's number five, yeah. So they have those tattoos, right? Just like the guy and uh, the first guy we met in uh, Midgar, sector eight, eight or six, I don't remember exactly. All those two, but this is supposed to be Tifa's uh, house, right? He has a tattoo of the number eleven. See you, Tuba. Must go reunion. And this is the reunion again that they talk about in the Advent Children movie. Tattoo number four. She's Platinum Fist. Where are you, great Sephiroth? This is a weapon for Tifa. Yeah. By the way, the new sword we got does not double growth on our um, materia. Let's just equip this, why not? But I definitely remember playing the piano then. Why wasn't it burnt down? How did I? How did this dirt go? I remember. Let's play some piano, guys. That was me, by the way. Hope you hope you liked it. Uh, let's see. The weird thing is Tifa doesn't even react to you. Even though I put her in my party. So I guess I might as well just shift her out with uh, Yuffie again. Let me just do that. 
Have long range material on this guy, right? Yeah. Save. There we go. Hi, welcome. Let me hear your story. This was a town was supposed to have burnt down five years ago. What the hell is going on? Sir, don't say such awful things. I was born and raised in this town. What you say never happened. See, again, cover covering it up, guys. This is total X-Files material. He has the number six. Man. He has something. Luck source. Uh, must go to reunion. This is so weird. So weird. Why, why don't you guys see those guys or do anything about them? And this is part of the. You remember Sephiroth was standing here. Part of the flashback. Let's see if we can. Nope. Hmm. How are you, chicken? I know you, you wanted to uh, speak some Scandinavian accent, have some Scandinavian accent for your banner saga on a playthrough, right? Oh, and by the way, guys, Chicken, who's in chat right now, he also streams. I'm alright, okay. Let me just, let me just shout out Chicken. There we go. He's a, he's a real cool guy, so uh, be sure to uh, to follow him. Well, I, I would appreciate that. Nice town, huh? We've been in business here for a long time. Ah, I, I do it. I do it gladly, Chicken. You are. Uh, you've been uh, great as well for my community. Uh, do you want to have anything to do with this town? Do we have anything to do with this town? How about being born and raised here? I was here until I was 14 and I don't remember you. It's not nice to lie. These guys. Oh, got another one. He has a tattoo of the number 12. Hmm. He has something. Elixir. Can you hear the voice of Sephiroth? Why doesn't Cloud say anything about how they all say Sephiroth? That, that also... I think that's pretty weird. Okay, she didn't even say anything. She just... <laughs> she just turned to me. Go, went like... Shop? Yes? Okay. Okay, so... We have the Shinra Mansion up here. Wow, he's calling. Sephiroth is calling. Creepy. The great Sephiroth is near. Inside. Inside the mansion. Uh, the great Sephiroth. See here, I feel like I should... I should check some, uh, some guides, guys, because... There's a speci special way to get a character here. And basically if you don't have the... If you don't have the right... Do this the right way, you don't get Vincent Valentine, my favorite character. And I don't remember exactly how, how you do this. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. Okay. Let's try this. Let's to unlock the safe in the room above the greenhouse on the second floor to do this. 
There are four clues left throughout the mansion corresponding to the four numbers you need to enter for the combination lock. The clues can be found on the note about Vincent that's been left on the first floor. Okay, yeah, that's the, that's how. See, so, so there, there are clues left around here. Uh, it's supposed to be on the first floor. See, this is confusing because in Danish, right, and when we say what what you call the first floor is the ground floor, right? The ground floor is usually called the first floor in English, right? But we usually say um, we used to say first sale, which is the first floor, is is the one above ground floor. So we basically have like ground floor, first floor, second floor. So sometimes when we hear like first floor, we we get confused. <laughs> Oh, we get attacked in here. I forgot about that. Oh, that guy. That's right. Guillotine guy. Fell down. <laughs> He's trying to get back up. <laughs> there we go. He didn't. He didn't manage to do any of it. His more uh, dangerous attacks. Okay, so the first floor. Must be here, right? Oh, they barred up the door here. Twin Viper. Got a weapon? Oh, that's a weapon for you. I didn't remember that. Hmm. Better attack percentage, but lower. And the material slots aren't connected like they are here. But she's actually not using them connected, so. And the growth is, is double. You see where it says growth. So when we gain X AP for leveling up the material and those slots, we actually get double the AP. So that's worth it, I'd say. Another fight. They use silence on mannequin. So we can't use spells. There should be a note around here somewhere. It must be in on the upper floor then. Oh, the new weapon she has looks pretty cool, actually. I wish I could 
log into Twitch on my laptop. Why can't you do that? That's weird. Okay, let's head upstairs. To the left. To the left, to the left. Enemy launcher. Okay, where is this note? Ah, oh, come back. Let me search. Whoops. Let me let me just read this. Let's see. Clue the lid. I know that the, the the whole thing is about unlocking the the safe that's in the room above where we are right now, or not above, like, to the north. That didn't even hurt him very much. That's disappointing. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> he keeps climbing on and falling back down again. There we go. So let's go into the safe room, I guess. I have a bad feeling about this. Okay, so we, we can't open the safe yet. But where's the note that uh, this guy tells me about? Hmm. Is it over here? Let's just use uh, some of these to permanently buff these characters a little bit. Power source, speed source, lock source, I guess. Magic source. So many fights. Ifrit again. Oh, I, can, I can just that there are like clues about you know, like you were saying magic, magic sauce, <laughs> sauce, sauce. There's a distinct difference. That's right. They are clearly mechanical. Should have noticed that. Oh, that's right, not when they're in that position, they can't be hurt by uh, physical attacks. That's how it works. Oh, now it tipped over. Damn it. Does fire work on them? It does. Good. Good, good, good. <laughs> Alright. Let me just... I, I have the combination here. I, I could go and, and find the clues. There are like clues throughout the mansion. That you use to... Or I can just type in... 
Okay, let's let's see. Magic. Let's just let's just type in the combination that I have here in the guide. Because it really isn't that entertaining to watch, finding all those clues. But yeah. Open the safe. Oh no, we have to do it fast. Right, 36. Oh my god, this. And left, 10. Oh no, 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 no. We won't make it to time. Right 36, left 10, right 59, right, okay. Let's try again. I thought there was a monster that would come out if I failed. And I wouldn't be able to do it again. Okay, right, 59. This is, I'm using like a, no. Okay, I, I, I already screwed it up, so I might as well just wait. Thirty-six. If only I, I could do this more precisely with, so that I don't go over. Fifty-nine. No. Oh. Ninety-seven. Ah, oh, so close. There we go. Success, right? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not using the the pad, which which you can't do, which is silly because that's more more accurate, right? For exactly hitting the right number, I'm using the stick, and the stick is more difficult to you know make uh, make sure that you don't overshoot. Judgment boat. Oh, I have to think about what what voice should I give Vincent? Oh, I'm almost out of voices here. Voices for everybody in Panasonic, yeah, yeah. I'm like, hmm, what voice should I give this character? I don't think I can do Russian very well. Oh, oh, okay, that, that would have killed her even if she had full health. Okay, never mind. Now I'm using a high potion on my. Oh, he uses it. At least he uses it. Oh no, himself is there. Not cool. Would you stop that?
Hey, Megan. Uh, well, we're getting beaten down here. Really hard. But maybe, just maybe, we will be able to, uh... Okay, never mind. <laughs> Come on. Please just, please just die. We're trying to get Vincent, Megan. Uh, Vincent Valentine. So we just opened the safe. There's a, there's this monster in there as well. This is bad. Yep, I've died. I actually lost. Oh, it's so, it's so difficult. Yes, it is. Oh, I, I didn't remember the, the chocobo thing there. Yep, it, he one-shots you, pretty much. But uh, thankfully we saved just outside the, the town. But let's see, did we... Let me just make sure that we went to all the places here. By talking with uh, this guy. Okay, so we didn't. Okay, so let's go and just pick up the items real quick and then save and then go and try that one more time. Lock sauce. No f <laughs> sauce. Sauce. Me and my lock sauce, right? Pour it over my food. It's like you, you, can, you can free him later in the game as well. I think that's why it's so difficult, that boss. Uh, there's no Sephiroth clone in here. There's one here. Okay, so he doesn't give us anything, right? Cloud sound like? But he's pretty much just my own voice, my own English voice. Voice. Because I kind of knew that I was gonna talk as him a lot, so I didn't want to make that too challenging. And the reason why I'm not saying what these guys are saying is because I have already talked to them. I just, uh, I just died to that boss. So I have to go and fetch these things again, just in case I didn't grab these things last time. Let's see. Didn't I get something here? I thought I got something here. Guess not. I feel like I'm reading my viewers a very violent bedtime story. That's a reading. Yeah, yeah, you read, you read a lot with that, that kind of games. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Let me just go out after I picked all this up. I'm gonna use them. Level one. So I guess just. Power source, speed source, rock source, rock source. Hmm. Oh yeah, we got a new one in the I remember now. Delicious sauce. All the sauce. Uh, let's see. <laughs> let's try this again. Should go and get uh, Yuffie's weapon now. First. Did 
that was over here. Magic sauce. Hmm. That delicious magic sauce. Ooh. Might actually just go out, sleep, and then save uh, after this. AD! Cooking and sitting, so. Let me just alert now. Let me back. Okay, sure. I, I, I won't be uh, streaming for much longer today, though. Uh, just so you know. So, uh, like 20 minutes, maybe a little longer, depends on this fight uh, where we try to get uh, Vincent. We actually should just attack him with melee attacks. Those are very much better. Very much better. Great English. Those are. A lot better than that. Didn't pick. Oh, it was in the other room. It was in the other room downstairs. Let's let's go and grab that, equip that, go back, sleep, just to be one hundred percent fully refreshed. When uh, let's see, it wasn't here. Oh, yes, it was. It was down there. When we fight the boss. Oh no, Anarchy is confused. The thing that had just attacked them. And <laughs> it starts turning around. over here yes wait we can't get in there oh it's it's to the north sorry ah. this fight should be over now So, so that boss fight we just fought, we got to the, got to the second phase of the fight, where if we get him to the half his health with a with a physical attack, he switches to his physical uh, attacks. And if we get him there, well, actually, I don't think we even got him there. He has seven thousand HP. That's a lot of HP when you're on low level. 
Uh, yeah, let's let's go out, rest. Oh wait, it wasn't here. It was the one next door. And then rest, and uh, then uh, save. Okay, so I turn. Let's go and try and fight him. <laughs> it is a very difficult fight, so... Should turn now, right? No. Should have turned the used fire attack against it there. Ooh. Okay, let's make this as easy as possible for us. Okay, we have. We want to range. Customize. I want to put our Phoenix down up here. Actually, we want to put it like here. We want to put the potion. Yeah. X potion highest. Because this is the menu we are running through when we want to use our items. And we have some items we want to throw at it. We might. Deadly waste. Nah. Bolt plume could be good. else I can do here that makes mm, earth. See, all the material we don't really need. Because there's only one enemy. HP plus. MP plus. Okay, so we have to remember he has revive. Don't need all material. Could need the restore material. Hmm. 
Okay, and, and the thing is, that that safe, right? The safe combination. If I go over the number, but just by one, when I go up and I have to go back and click, I actually have to do it over, which is why I was pretty lucky there and uh, and doing it fast. Okay, so 36, 10, 59. Okay. Ah, see, I already messed it up. 59, 97. No, no, no. See. And again, I'm, I can't use the, this, I have to use the stick. And the stick is very impre imprecise. Uh, let's see, 36, 10, 59. No, come on. <sighs> Already messed it up. Messed it up again. 36, 10, 59. Okay. This sucks. It sucks doing it with this these controls. Let's see, no, we can't do it with the other one. <laughs> Imprecise controls, guys. Can actually be your game's biggest downside. Okay, 59. 97. Did it. Okay, guys, so <laughs> yeah, okay. Now comes the really difficult fights. I wish I had the barrier spell. Hold it. So it has. 7,000 HP. So you can count along, guys. Might as well just attack there, actually.
now. Now we are in the second phase, guys. Wait, she has uh, something on that prevents her from uh, taking damage from. It doesn't even deal much damage. Whew. Important twist, guys. <laughs> That was like a Darkest Dungeon miss right there, uh, when you really need it. We got there guys, we got there. And remember this is not turn based, as in 100% turn based. If you don't do your actions really quickly, the enemy still has its turn move forward and he can still attack you. So, hey chicken, take care man, take care. I'm glad you got to see that. Clear tranquil, got a new limit break as well. Cosmo memory as well. And a key to the basement. That's the key we wanted. And we got a we got a new summon material as well. Which is great. So now Nanaki isn't the only one who only has one summon material. <laughs> I guess. Uh Odin. Let me just think here, we got... But, but we got something like called Cosmo Memory. Learn limit skill Cosmo Memory. I don't get it. I don't get it. Cosmo Memory. Is this for Barrett? I don't remember. I actually don't remember. Anyway, we have to make sure that... Let's look at our guide here. We go and talk. We go and talk with Vincent now, guys. This is perfect ending of the stream. Perfect ending. We get a new member. Just have to figure out a voice. Any ideas for a voice for Vincent? <laughs> what? Yay! Oh, that's 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 a pretty cool emo right there. And this music right here, this isn't Sephiroth music as you can hear. It's actually, uh, well, I think this guy is actually pretty dangerous if I remember right. If you let him do what he wants. Yep. Uh, it's the it's the theme of uh, one of the themes, like one of the Vincent themes. It's music. Let's see.
Vincent's story is also pretty cool. Out of the way. That thing is... Yanks excited. Ooh, 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 ooh guys. <laughs> Creepy. Oh, I should have summoned our new, our new summoning. Our Odin. My uh, town I live in called Odense is actually named after Odin, the god Odin. Because uh, the first part, Odin, is, comes from Odin, right? And the last part, S-E, which is C in Danish. C means to uh, look, to watch. And it basically uh, derives from Odin watches. Because, you know, Odin is a knowledge-based god who uh, sacrificed his eye in a well to gain knowledge. So he watches with his one eye. Yeah, that is pretty cool, right? But it's that's not what this city is more, most famous for, though. Let's see if we can summon him. And Odin is what is I as I asked you before. <laughs> I can't speak. I asked you earlier what you think is your favorite uh, summon in the game. And uh, Odin is actually. I think he might actually be mine. Yeah, he's happy now. He's happy, guys. There we go, new, our new limit break. This is Odin, guys. This is one of his versions, at least. And it's actually kind of accurate. He has an eight-legged horse, though. Not a, not a six-legged horse. In, uh, in our folklore, Norse mythology. And he has a spear that always strikes through. This enemy is creepy. And excited apparently. So it's yin and yang, right? Uh oh. That almost killed. And we his left his legs were still left there. That's weird. That's super weird. There we go. Okay guys, we got a key to this door. Okay guys, here we go. Hey Crystal! I'm, uh, I'm good. Thanks, thanks for asking. It's been a long day, but uh, yeah. I'm uh, enjoying my, fa my favorite game of all time. And this is my favorite character of all time that we're about to get here as well. In Final Fantasy VII. Uh, just there we go. Oh, what, oh, what, what, what voice should we give him? He's, he's very uh, Dracula-ish, esque. He's, he's, he's very uh, vampire-like. Maybe he should have like a Transylvanian, like bleh. <laughs> To wake me from my nightmare. Like a, like a Transylvanian. How about that, guys? Would you like that? To wake me from my nightmare. There's, there's a little bit of Russian in there as well. Good, good. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay. To wake me from my nightmare. Who is it? Just doesn't fit his personality though, but that maybe that just makes it more funny. I don't know you. You must leave. <laughs> now he became Italian, guys. <laughs> you must leave. <laughs> but it's also kind of Transylvanian Dracula, right? You were having a nightmare? Man, you were. Uh, you really were having a bad dream. Even I feel bad. Hmm, a nightmare. My long sleep has given me time to atone. 
What are you saying? I have nothing to say to strangers. Get out! <laughs> this mansion is the beginning of your nightmare. You can say that again. Do you know something? Hey, talk about Sephiroth. Like you said, this mansion is the beginning of a nightmare. No, it's not a dream, it's for real. Sephiroth has lost his mind. He, f he found the secrets hidden in this mansion. The crazy thing is, Vincent is older than you know Sephiroth and everything. He slept for like hundreds of years. Uh, he found the secrets hidden in this mansion. Sephiroth! <laughs> you know Sephiroth? You know Sephiroth? Oh my god, look at that elegance. You will start the first. And then we, this is basically just the game trying to. Now we explained very fast. That's how it was. So Sephiroth knows he was created five years ago. And about the Genova project. <laughs> he was amazing. But as just recently reappeared. He has taken many lives and is seeking the promised land. <laughs> now it's your turn. Oh, wait, I was I was speaking. <laughs> I love it. I actually was speaking as Cloud. That was actually Cloud saying that he was seeking the promised land and everything. I actually thought he already explained that. Sorry. I care not to speak. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I was probably depressing anyway. <laughs> Hearing your show is it's yet another scene for me. More nightmares shall come for me now than I previously had. Now, please leave. He has a magical lid, guys. So here, we basically just Click again. You uh, are still here? Let's see. Who are you? At least tell us your name. I was with the Shinra Manufacturing in Animus Strative Research, also known as the Turks. Well, look at that picture. Isn't that just the coolest picture he has? I think so, at least. Select. Vincent! The Turks? Formerly known as the Turks. Formerly of the Turks, I mean. I have no affiliation with the children now. And are you? Cloud, formerly of Soldier. You were also with the children? Then do you know Lucrezia? Who? Lucrezia. <laughs> the woman who gave birth to a Sephiroth. Gave birth? Wasn't you know Sephiroth's mother? That is completely wrong, but just a theory. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cracking up. Uh. He was born from a beautiful lady. <laughs> it, it has become Italian. It's like I started out as Transylvanian. Like, like, blur. Uh, like Transylvanian vampire. Like uh, Dracula. And now it just became Italian. And now I'm just going with Italian because it's funny. That lady, lady was Lucrezia. She was an assistant of a Professor Gast. Of the Genova project. Beautiful Lucrezia. A human experiment? There was no way to cancel the experiment. It couldn't stop her. That was my sin. I let the one I love and the one I respect the most face the worst. 
<laughs> you feel so such an asshole. Okay. Boring story number one. <laughs> Yofi, you just you messed you're messing this up. Let me sleep. Yeah, so he went from Nosferatu to Count Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much, pretty much make it. Pretty much. Let me just let me just look here. Make sure that I don't mess anything up and lose him. Call him the name. Uh, you will call him a name and he will be back to sleep again and leave the room and Vincent is yours. Okay, so now I just leave the room. I see. Oh, and get attacked. Count Chocolate. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. Stupid, stupid bats, stupid vampire bats. These guys have a lot of health, wow. I might actually have to use another summon. Oh, didn't get to do that. Oh, we can use Odin again. Just like with the Chocobo, there's a rare occasion where, uh, where Odin's summon does something else, where he has his sword and stuff instead. And he slices the enemy in half, and they basically just they, they don't take damage, they just die instantly. Which is really cool. <gasps> this is it! This is it, guys! Pretty sure this is it. Yep, it is. It's pretty. Just cut them in half. Odin with the slice, that's right. Vampire Fang, how fitting. Okay, we just left the room. So I kind of feel like... Uh... Oh, let me just... I have a can candle over here, I just need to... There we go. There we go. Wow. It was it was starting to burn out. All right. Oh, I should probably focus here. Oh, I have to equip my uh, my old material again. Oh, they died. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Let me just... Let's see. So... All of these old material. There we go. So this is the room where Sephiroth was researching, right? Sephiroth! Being here brings back memories. Are you going to participate in the reunion? I don't even know what a reunion is. Okay, Genova will be at the reunion. Genova will join the reunion, becoming a calamity from the skies. Genova, a calamity from the skies? You mean she wasn't an ancient? I see. I don't think you have the right to participate. I will go north past Mount Nebo. If you wish to know, then follow. Reunion. Calamity from the skies. <laughs> I 
be toss a materia at you. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Zephyrath, for giving me a materia. I appreciate it. Let's see if we can equip that real quick. There we go. Deep area, despair, death, yeah. Don't think there's anything in here, particularly. Oh, yeah, that's some posts. Escape he route. Oh, the escape report number four. Other. Beast's whereabout is currently unknown, but pursuit is unnecessary due to his diminishing consciousness, awaiting further instructions. So, uh, this is actually uh, the report of. I'm pretty sure this is the report of Cloud and Zack's escape. Uh, remember Zack, right? A after all of the incidents, basically Zack escaped with Cloud while C Cloud was in a catatonic state from the Marco poisoning. You can see that in uh, the animation called The Last Order. Escapee report number one. X month, X day. Two escapees were located near Midgar. See? Two escapees, C Cloud and Zack. Escapee report number three. Status. A shot for resisting. B escaped during A's resistance. And that's B is Cloud and A is Zack. So Zack sacrificed himself to let Cloud get away. Again, you see this is it isn't explained like explicitly. Here we go. Here's a little more detail though. Escapee report number two. Description of the uh, at the time of capture. A. Formerly member of soldier number you know, blanked out. No effect could be detected from either macro radiation therapy or Genova on him. So, so, uh, Zack could, wasn't negatively affected from, uh, being affected to by the macro, right? By being submerged in macro. But B, which is cloud, and notice that he, it doesn't say he's a, he's a soldier, right? It was only Zack who became a soldier. He, sh he, sh uh, she should have joined uh, just when I left after that. I'm pretty sure he does join when I leave and I can call him or something. I I'll double check though. Uh, wing box. But yeah, reaction to Genova de detected. So we basically get some backstory here. Oh, I didn't mean to click that again. Sorry about that. So that's just the first one. So we have all of them. Waiting further instructions. So we are told a lot in this game that you can piece together, but it takes a lot of piecing together, pretty much. Believe that. Let me sleep. Okay, let me just look at the guide here real quick. You still should still have it here. Okay, one, talk about Sephiroth. We did that. Two, who are you? We also did that. You will call him a name and he will go back to sleep again in his coffin. Leave the room and Vincent is yours. Worthy addition and personality. I prefer Vincent to Yuffie. Okay, this, uh, this guy just says that uh, he likes Vincent over you feel okay. Uh, so so we should have him now. We also gave him a name as you, as you saw, which is like the trigger. But he do, he doesn't. Oh, there we go. Okay, let me just. There we go. Wait. <laughs> I actually like this Italian accent because I can remember it and it's d distinct from all the other accents I've made. Okay. If I go, if I go with you, will I meet Hojo? Don't know, but we're after him and Sephiroth, so I guess sooner or later. Lucrezia. Alright, I've decided to go with you. Huh? 
Oh great, just what I needed. <laughs> Luffy is not a big fan. And this is pretty funny because she feels like, oh, I'm getting depressed by being around him, right? But we actually are going to make a team where it's Cloud, Luffy and Vincent, so. Being a former Turk, I may be of help. Alright, alright then. So, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I used to you. Uh, I mean, I love Red a lot, uh, on Natiki as we called him here. Uh, and my first playthrough of the game, like back when I was a little kid playing this version, the European PlayStation 1 version. Look at that, look at that, beautiful, beautiful. Uh... Oh, guys, do you remember this symbol? Look at that. Look at that. Sony PlayStation symbol. Over 120 mind blowing cinematic sequences. That's right. Haha. <laughs> Let's see. Look at that. Beautiful. So, the first time I defeated this game, I, I had a team of Yuffie and Riz. But I want, I want Vincent in here. And I feel like it would be a, too much of a sausage fest if I had Red and Vincent. Maybe a little bit too depressing too, because Cloud can, can be pretty, uh, yeah. <laughs> so let maybe we should do this though. Let, let me just, oh yeah, I can't switch them around. Never mind. I, I have to do that in here. Okay, order. There we go. So now, now Yuffie and Vincent aren't too close together, you know? That's, that's important. Let's get out of here. And later can we get a... Pepper... <laughs> a pepperoni pizza! <laughs> Is that... <laughs> let me just, let me just do that. Okay. I'm from the Turks, so I'm sure I could be of great assistance to you. But maybe later we could get a pepperoni pizza. <laughs> I love pepperoni pizza. <laughs> okay, here we go, Vincent. Oh no. Cloud came first, I guess. Use this first time. Ooh, that was effective. <sighs> Miss. Too good. Let me shoot you. Kapow. <laughs> Jump away, let on. This is so funny. <laughs> you know you're funny when you're laughing at your own jokes, right? Sarcasm might be present. Let's see. Oh, he, they just use uh, they just used silence on the character who can't cast spells because he doesn't have any. On Let's just attack. Yeah. 
I have the peacemaker gun, by the way. I'd have to remember that. That I found very early in the game in Calm. See, that's... It has less material slots, but it has double growth, so I guess that's worth it. Protects against poison and darkness or frog. It's more like it's poison and darkness. Um, before we go up to the the reactor, I think I'm gonna go out, take the material off Yuffie, or not Yuffie, uh, Red. I guess it could use cover. Yeah, let's put this is almost level two, so let's put this here. And go back in. Rest. Then we're gonna go out again and save. And then I think I, that will be the, the stream for today, guys. I, I should be able to stream tomorrow, though. Let me just see here. Ah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna stream from, let's see. Let's go out and save first. Save. That's a good, that's a good uh, cliffhanger, right? We got, we got Vincent. We got uh, the story about uh, Sephiroth and the reunion. We got all of Cosmo Canyon backstory, and now we're off to uh, to the reactor where we faced off against Sephiroth in the in the past. Thanks so much for all the subscribe subscriptions today and the uh, bits and everything. Uh, I'm pretty uh, amazed. That I've never had a day like this. Uh, but yeah. I uh, didn't get a lot of sleep yesterday because I streamed for so long with after work and had to get up to work and everything to get here again today. So I'm gonna call it today, but I'm gonna be back and let me just check time wise. I'm gonna be back tomorrow uh, at 2 p.m. EST. Uh, yeah, 2 p.m. EST. Let me just type that in here. Uh, and by the way, guys, if you'd like, you can join my Discord channel. Uh, I'll I always uh, write in there whenever I go live. And in there, you can we can kind of get to know each other better, you know, when I'm not live. And uh, share share selfies of each other and, and stuff, you know, get a community going. I would really love to have a, a great positive community uh, where we all could uh, hang out. And then maybe you can suggest some games and stuff in the future. Of course, Final Fantasy VII is going to take a while to complete, but maybe we can put some games in between the, uh, the individual playthrough sessions of this. Oh, you're welcome, Megan. 
thank you for watching. I mean, this this wouldn't be something that that's really possible if I hadn't had you know had you had you viewers. And I'm just I'm just happy that I I have that feeling just before I go live. I have that feeling of uh, how should I explain? It's kind of like before you go on stage, but when you're excited for something, you know. You're a little anxious, but you're also really excited and you're you're ready to go, right? And as long as I have that feeling with streaming, I'm, I'm gonna keep going with it because I have a lot of fun with it. Yo, you're welcome, Archie. You're welcome. The most evil of Archies. <laughs> so, so 2 p.m. EST, and if, if you join the Discord, uh, I'd love to get to know each of you a little a little better, if you'd like. If you're more in the, in the lurk mood, you can also lurk in there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, in there I do like votes for, uh, for example, with emotes and and commands for uh, like, like for example, I have some sound commands here. I should have told you guys about that sooner. Let's see how fast my, uh, my chatbot actually reacts here. Or should I say sa? Maybe it sounds. I have to. Re I have to remember these things, guys. Yeah, it sounds. It's not just sound. It sounds. There we go. So there are, for example, are some sounds. So if you type like, boy. Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. For example. Uh, <laughs> I made I made some quick, some funny sound commands that you can use. Of, of course, don't spam it, it because that just ruins the viewing experience. But but it you know if the timing is just right, it it it's pretty funny, and it can surprise me too. You know, so feel free to to try them out if you want to. Anyway, uh, I'd love to see you over on my Discord channel, uh, and. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow. But now we're gonna raid Old Man Sethus, a really dear friend of mine, a person who has inspired me to stream. This is because of this guy I'm streaming. So please be very kind to him. I'm a subscriber and I'm also a mod on his channel. Uh, and he's a he's a very very kind guy. He's he has he's more hyper than me. He has his own style. Just so you know. I'm 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 a very mellow, you know, uh, uh, so, so <laughs> we're kind of guys. So if you if you like my style, where I'm like uh, we're just chilling and stuff, maybe his style is not as exactly yours. But if you also like people who are very energetic and uh, you know 100% all the time, then you'd like him as well. Uh, let's see. <laughs> 